welcome back okay so I wanted to do another fall look I've done a couple of fall looks on my Instagram um, using my nomad palette what else did I use I think I used a Juvia's palette I don't know but I've done a couple of fall looks on my Instagram so if you want to check those out definitely go follow me on Instagram if you're not already or check those out but I wanted to come on here on YouTube and do a quick little look. Well, it's supposed to be a quick little look, but I ended up doing a full face. Okay, so yeah, this is the look that we have. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily your typical fall look, but for me, I do love a deep, dark, smoky green and blue eye during the fall, as well as the winter and summer and spring, okay? <laughs> so yeah this is what i did today i started out with just wanting to use my natasha denona metropolis palette but it turned into the metropolis along with this cute little color pop uh quad these are really really um easy perfect great for crease work you know if you want to have your basic smoky eye stuff going on so i used that and then i also ended up jumping into this Huda Beauty Wild palette. This one is the Python Wild Obsessions. Okay, love the packaging, but the colors in here are gorgeous as well. So I ended up using a couple of shimmers out of there. So we have this look today, you guys. Okay, so listen, I, I don't know. Has anybody else been like not really feeling the same excitement and love and just I don't know I don't know I love makeup I will always love makeup I love just creating I love color I love all of that you guys know that but I just have really been struggling with getting on here creating content and you know, I love my viewers. I love my subscribers. You guys, some of you guys have been with me from way back in the day. And even the new ones that are just like so supportive, so loving, so sweet, and just really get excited about makeup like I do. And so I feel so bad because I have just been so inconsistent. This year has just been crazy. I think with all that happened last year, everything that we're still kind of going through and trying to get used to and just all of the issues with purchasing makeup, you know, during the panorama, you know, not being able to really swatch things going to store and just kind of now getting back into stuff like that which you know i'm an online shopper anyway i buy a lot of stuff online but somewhere along the line my excitement for new releases just buying new makeup testing out new makeup it just kind of started to diminish and I'm really trying to get it back. I really am, you guys, because I don't want to just let this part of my life go. I don't want to let my love for makeup and beauty go and creating content go. But I just want to let you guys know I'm struggling. You know, if you guys, if you've noticed me not here on the platform as often, because I have been trying to pop in every now and then, but I really, really want to find that love again, find that excitement again. Just, I don't know, but I don't know how I'm going to do it, you guys. And maybe you guys have some help. Let me know, though, if you've been feeling the same kind of way. But anyway, I don't know how I've gotten off on that tangent because I'm supposed to just be doing this look. 
But I just wanted to chit chat with you guys a little bit and just talk about my feelings, what I'm dealing with, um, and just being in a weird place in my life right now, I think, where I'm kind of struggling with getting into a routine just with all kind of stuff you know it's like with weight loss I've gained so much weight just over the panorama and just dealing with different things you know with my husband he's got a lot going on um starting businesses you know opening a restaurant it's been a lot over here you guys and I can't really say I'm a stress eater, but when you have a husband that's just cooking good food all the time, it's kind of hard to, you know, stay slim and try and stay fit. But I have some ideas of what I want to do for different kind of content on my channel. I'm not quite ready yet, you know. I really want to move off into not just beauty and makeup. I still want to do that. But I do want to kind of dive into, um, you know, like lifestyle, fashion. Um, you know, I love all kind of things. If you notice in my background, I love sunglasses. I love perfume. I love bags. I love shoes. My favorite are Nikes, okay? I'm buying Nikes like it ain't nothing because I love me some sneaks, you know? But just wanting to kind of share a lot of other parts of my life with you guys it's not just makeup based because I know that's what you guys know me for but that's not all I'm into so I don't know I'm just kind of working through some things right now you guys you know please don't leave me don't abandon me don't forget your girl I'm, I'm still here I'm just working some things out it might not even be until next year when I really start diving into different types of content along with the makeup because honey I ain't never gonna leave makeup alone okay so anyway just a little chit chat and a little kind of insight of what's going on with me I know just from talking to close friends, even some that are in the beauty community, a lot of us are kind of going through some of the same things and feeling the same way. You know, I don't know if it's just, you know, few and far in between when the exciting launches come out and stuff. I don't know. But, and then now with our beloved Mel Thompson not being here anymore, I mean, it's like, if you are familiar with her and her channel, you know she was just a light. Just a light. That's all I could say. It's just she was just a bright light because she was always just so excited, so happy, so informed, so knowledgeable. Just there were so many different aspects of her and her life that she shared with us um, that it's just I know it's really hitting so many of us hard just you know me watching Kelsey's video and watching other people's you know video talking about her and just knowing her personally which I I didn't know her personally of course but you know when you see people on YouTube and you watch them on these videos you feel like you know them you feel like you know that you're their friend and that you know they're sharing their life with you so you start to really care about them and love them i met you know my two bestest bestest friends through youtube so i mean i get it and it's just really hard right now it really is it's hard it's so just devastating to lose someone so beautiful so young just so willing to work her butt off I mean she did not even when she was sick and you can tell she was just a little bit weak or struggling a little bit and she would share that with us it's like she still worked her butt off so you guys I really I really don't know what I'm going to do to try and get it together, but I'm going to try and get it together because I feel like I do have a really nice, strong support base here. I love you guys. I love reading through the comments and just sharing, you know, our 
love for beauty and just our different thoughts whether we agree disagree you know so i'm gonna get it together y'all but anyway enough about that um let's go ahead and jump into this eye look okay you guys so let's go ahead and jump right in so as usual i'm starting off by prepping my lid using my p louise base I'm applying it with a brush, but I'm going in and just evening it out with one of my small blender or beauty blenders. Now I want to start off with this cute little ColourPop palette. I will list all the products down below in the description box, but this cute little palette is called Down to Earth from ColourPop. And I'm starting off with this like really light tan shade and just using that in the upper part of my crease, I'm going to use this as a nice transition for this look. Next, I'm going into the dark brown shade in here. And as you can see, I'm really concentrating that in my crease area. I'm using a little bit of a larger fluffy type brush just so that I can blend that in nicely with that first shade. And now I'm starting to drag it out a bit to help create the shape for this look. So next I'm going into the black because I know I really wanted to smoke this look out. So whenever I'm using a black, I really focus it in the lower outer corner to make sure it doesn't get out of hand too quickly. I'm using a bit of a firmer um, blending brush to just kind of blend that black into that crease and mix it with that brown and I'm also taking this time to go ahead and create the shape for this look. So as you can see, I'm really dragging it out so I'll have a nice kind of winged out smoky look. And once again, going back into that dark brown and just blending it into that black. I really want a nice seamless look for this crease. So now I'm just kind of cleaning it up. You know, if you go a little too far down, you can always use a wet wipe or, you know, cloth or something to kind of clean up your work so that's what I'm doing here now for the lid I am going into my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette using this beautiful green and blue shimmer I did spray my brush for these shadows just to make sure they laid down nicely and I didn't get glitter all over my face so I'm just using a flat shader brush to apply this green shimmer on the inner portion of my lid as you can see I'm just going right on top of that shadow that I laid down I didn't put any further base or cut crease canvas before applying the green and right next to that I'm going in with that blue shimmer and I'm just applying it blending it with that green so that it's just kind of like a nice transition on my lid from blue to green but just kind of doing my own cut crease as I'm applying it so this is when I decided I wanted to go into this Huda Beauty Wild Python palette and I wanted to just see if this pretty blue shimmer would add a little bit of brightness, a little bit of pop to this lid and it did. It added just a little bit of brightness, not as much as I really wanted it to, but it added just enough to add a little level of brightness. So I went ahead and applied that to my lids and then I'm going back in with the brush that had the black on it and just kind of blending out that outer corner making sure it's nice and smoky and neat. So as you can see I did go ahead and apply some of my Kiss Lashes and some black liquid liner. Now moving on to the face I am using my I Heart Revolution Strawberry Whip Pore Blurring Primer. I love this primer oh my goodness it is so soft it just makes my face look so blurred out it fills in my pores and I just love the way it feels it feels super duper soft so to handle my dark circles most of you guys know I do go ahead and use my essence camouflage concealer just to kind of handle my dark circles and a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my mouth before I go in with the foundation. Now this is my first time trying out this Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation. Um, so yeah, I'm just checking it out. Decided to go ahead and use a brush to apply it. 
and as you can see the color well initially I thought it might be a little too light but it actually blended in quite nicely and you know turned out to be a good shade for me I would think it's probably the closest shade of this foundation for me I did purchase it on sale at Sephora um, quite a while ago actually now this foundation has nice coverage it is very matte very matte <laughs> which is cool if you like matte but yeah it's very matte <laughs> so just letting you know that so I'm going in with my favorite concealer today it's my Juvia's um, concealer in the shade 11 I believe I've been using this stuff forever since it first came out and it just never does me wrong never does me dirty so I love this concealer and I'm just blending that out with a pink sponge one of my sponges that I get from shop miss a these are like the nicest softest sponges you guys and so affordable so I decided to go in with a little bit of cream bronzer today so I'm using my Uma take what is it the double take stick so it has the uh, bronzer or you know what is it gosh I cannot think right now the bronzer or contour depending on you know how the shade works for you for me it's a nice bronzer and I you know use it is very easy to use it works very nicely for my um, skin tone as a bronzer it blends out super easy as you can see here I'm not struggling at all just gently tapping to blend it out and it's just a nice easy cream bronzer there is a highlighter on the other end of the stick that I never use but it's a nice highlighter as well so now moving on <laughs> the powder that I have in my little powder dispenser is my prime beauty powder very very nice powder I love 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 it and um, would definitely suggest it so I'm just setting all of the areas that I highlighted and where I placed some concealer and I'm setting the rest of my face with my Kiss Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. I'm only doing a very, very light dusting though because this foundation, like I said, is super matte, okay? Now for blush, I'm going in with my LYS blush and this is in the shade Inspire. Love this color, you guys. It's so, so pretty. And to highlight, I'm going in with my Grand Glow plumping liquid highlighter I like using this with a sponge as you can see it just gives that nice beautiful soft glow to the skin and it's really easy to blend it out not difficult at all and I love the little highlight that it gives my face now this eyeliner is from what is it called sugar drizzle indie brand that I tried out from Etsy it's supposed to be like a multi-chrome or duochrome eyeliner, which I guess you can see there when I move my eyes. But yeah, they're pretty cool. I don't know if I would purchase them again because they were very expensive and you get a very small amount, but they're kind of cool to use. So yeah, they're pretty. So I just went in and smoked out my lower lash line with that dark blue out of that Natasha Denona palette. And now I'm going back into the Huda Beauty and taking that bright green and just tapping it in my inner corner didn't even spray my brush for this I just wanted a light sheer dusting of that light green and now I'm going in with my LA gear jet setter mascara and I'm just like <laughs> going ham with this mascara trying to make my lower lashes look as full and as long as possible I tell you guys you want to see some struggle lower lashes check mine out because mine be struggling for real so for lips just going in with a basic dark brown lip liner and I wanted to try out this ColourPop fresh kiss lip cream very very nice I like these they are super comfortable so I went in with that and I topped it off with one of my Maybelline Lifter glosses. Love that gloss, okay. And I'm setting my whole face in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Whenever I plan on leaving the house, this is pretty much the setting spray I like to use because it just works, honey. It sets all day. So yeah, that is it for this look, you guys. 
I mean, I had a lot of fun creating it. I used a few palettes, not just one today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I created this look. As you can see, I'm in a little bit of a better mood enjoying this makeup and, you know, can't wait to do another look for you guys. So thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!